So there are just a few aspects to the animation. So let's start by hiding this layer. Ensure that you have a new group selected. Let's lock this one because we won't be using it. Let's go ahead and create a rectangle by clicking and dragging once you have your rectangle tool selected. We're going to go into the library, select gradients and choose a gradient of your color. So we can go ahead and choose this one. You can play with the gradient properties in the inspector. So let's go here, let's open gradient and you can move these around to your desired liking. You can also move the start and end values just to ensure that you have a smooth gradient. So once you're happy with how it looks, the next step really is to go ahead and lock this layer because you won't be using it really. And then create another group, add group. When you create your other group, the first thing you want to do is create your base, which is your first rectangle. You're going to go to shape, fill, remove the fill and add an outline. Now this is the status bar, so to speak. We're going to duplicate this and then we're going to deselect the outline and select fill. Let's change the color to white as well. Once you've done that, let's go to properties. So you'll notice that it's kind of weird now, it's kind of skewed because it's rotating from the center. So to correct this, you can simply undo, select your anchor point, move it to the left or to the right, and then scale it down. From that specific side so let's select our rectangle with the outline and let's just expand it a little bit to a desired length command plus to zoom in and you just want to ensure that just a little bit of space exists in between your loading bar and the outline Alright, this looks good. So once you're happy with that, then you can go ahead and create another group. This is the group that you're going to add your text in. So for the text, we'll be using a generator. So let's go to generators and we're looking for numbers. You can just type it in the search here or just look for numbers on the bottom left. Click apply and just click and drag to position it where you'd want to position it. Go to the inspector, select text generator ensure that the end point is 100 because you're moving from 0 to 100 percent change the format from number to percent and you want to change the format settings here from alignment left to right which ensures that no matter what happens with the numbers how many spaces or places they increase by the percentage sign stays the same and you can change your font to whatever font you want and the font size to whatever font size you want once you're done feel free to place it where you want to place it and then that's the first part of your animation now you realize that it's actually stopping at 51% and this is because the duration the entire duration of this numbers generator is the duration of my project so what you'd want to do is simply select it and click O and that ensures that it ends here just like a behavior and where this ends it shows a hundred percent so with that done we're going to go on to our loading bar select the loading bar you're going to select your mask tool your rectangle mask click and drag to create a mask over with the loading bar and you're simply going to add a behavior to this so let's go to properties Ensure that you have the mask selected. Select the down arrow beside the x-axis. Add a behavior, ramp, and simply go to the beginning of your project and click and drag that ramp value 
until you're no longer seeing it just as it's completely hidden so this shows one percent and seeing that our behavior actually starts at one percent and not zero that's fine but if you want it to start at zero simply select the generator go back to text generator select the generator properties and instead of start at one we can choose to start at zero but well, let's leave it at one so just like our generator you'll notice that our behavior stretches to the end of the project and not to the end of the play area to solve this simply go ahead select the, gener the behavior rather and select O. this ensures that it's cut right at the playhead once that's done you actually have your loading animation so what you can do once you're through is simply select all the layers or both both layers group them and that group can be placed just about anywhere on your screen that you want you can resize it using the scale properties here and you still have that animation that you can use in various projects.